name is Linda Jean Combe. I'm a sovereign Wiradjuri of the Upper Villa Galari. We proclaim seven, whereas in 1788, Governor Arthur Phillip continued this fraud when he falsely pretended to be welcomed on country with his armed forces. By Phillip's own admission, he landed several convict prisoners and instructed them to go into the bush and wait for his and his armed forces arrival. At which time the convicts were instructed to come out of the bush, asked him of his intent and the convicts then welcomed him onto the land. This act by Philip constitutes a major criminal fraud against First Nations peoples because he was never invited nor welcomed onto the land by the original owners. This began dispossession, usurpation, ethnocide and genocide and other crimes against humanity. And whereas by virtue of First Nations people, continent, continental common law, natural, international and constitutional law, the imported legal and political establishments of Australia are now and at all material times have been incapable of usurping First Nations sovereignty and jurisdiction. In the absence of a sovereign treaty or treaties or other formal international legally binding instruments, there cannot be a legitimate arrangement for interjurisdictional coexistence between the ancient continental common law and the law of the legal occupying power of Britain, the Crown. And nine, whereas in its report to the Australian Federal Parliament 200 years later, the Senate Standing Media. Committee on Constitutional and Legal Affairs on the feasibility of a compact of Makarata between the Commonwealth and the Aboriginal people, acknowledgement was given to this disputed question. It was further stated that some would say that sovereignty inherent in the Aboriginal people inhabiting Australia at the time of settlement by the Europeans and that sovereignty still subsists even though not recognised by the occupying power or its legal system. And whereas Sir Owen Dixon said of the Australian Constitution in the law and the Constitution 1935, as quoted, it is a, a supreme law perpetuating to obtain force from the direct expression of a people's inherent authority to constitute a government. It is a statute of the British Parliament enacted in the exercise of its legal sovereignty over the law everywhere in the King's dominions. And in the interpretation of our constitution, this distinction has many important consequences. We treat our organs of government simply as institutions established by law and we interpret their power simply as belonging to them by law. And whereas G.J. Little in his article, Why is Australia's Constitution Binding? The reason in 1900 and now and the effect of independence as cited in Australian constitu constitutional law and theory argue that there were two fun fundamental characters associated with the enactment of Australia's constitution. Its political status was derived from the fact that it was contained in the enactment of the British Parliament and its constitution. Its political legitimacy or authority was based on the words contained in the preamble to, the, to that enactment, which referred to the people of Australian colonies having agreed to unite in a federal commonwealth, inverted commas. Whatever the legal position, these words draw attention to the political reason for this enactment. The document having been in a large measure approved by the people of Australia, even if the number of persons who actually voted was only 60% of eligible voters. And whereas historical documents of Australia clearly inform us that Aboriginal people were excluded from this process and at no time were our ancestors invited to participate in the formative stages associated with the development of Australia becoming a Commonwealth Federation. By virtue of this, the de jure sovereignty and independent jurisdiction of Aboriginal nations and peoples are legal facts. And whereas to this day, Aboriginal peoples continue a process of resistance, incarceration records clearly demonstrate the level of resistance and civil disobedience. This resistance is and will remain justifiable acts of resistance upon a national enemy as in Regina versus Tunku, Muhammad, Saad, international law cases. Law cases, not a lawyer. Yeah. Aboriginal nations and peoples now argue that the British common law that is based on Roman law no longer has any effect 
and is null and void. This is confirmed. This is confirmed in the recent decision of the South China Sea case of the International Court of Justice. Um. And whereas in recognising the pre-existing laws of the Aboriginal nations and peoples, the proclamation and laws relating to the Aboriginal peoples by the British governors and subsequent legislative regimes of the self-governing colonies could not bind the subjects of an original nation state to an occupying power without their free, prior, informed consent. Here, here. And whereas Australian governments continue to operate ultra-virus outside the law and in violation of the international law as it was in 1788 and as it is today, to legalise Australia's political and legal systems, Australia must enter into meaningful negotiations with the Aboriginal nations and peoples and conclude sovereign treaties with the different and various pre-existing and continuing sovereign Aboriginal nations. <laughs> and whereas no amount of judicial ratio dissendi, dissendi, reasoning by judges for their rulings can take away the legal fact that as found in Mabo number two, Aboriginal law and culture survived imposed British sovereignty and thus places a caveat over all British land tenure title across the continent. Here, here. And whereas Aboriginal nations and peoples argue that at the time of invasion, there was no legal acquisition of land and or of any convenient situations usurping and taking lands of other First Peoples whose title is now proven to be legal under the ratio Dissidendi. Dissidendi of the judges of the High Court in Mabo number no. 2 must also be found to be illegal since the usurpation was done without their informed consent thus confirming Blackstone's legal interpretations of English law as it stood in 1788. And whereas Aboriginal peoples therefore assert and argue that the yeah. Commonwealth of Australia the six page, has eh? been in yeah. continual right. violation of international law since the colonisation of this country according to the Blackstone commentaries that read. English law. Stop. Stop it. English law becomes the law of another country either upon settlement by English colonialist 